Here I'd like to do an example of a story problem uh, for this last section of 3.5. Uh, so if, if I cut 3 and 5 6 yards from a rope that is 30 and 1 half yards long, how long is the leftover rope? Right. How much did I not cut off to use? So um, hopefully you see this as a subtraction problem. We are taking rope away from the 30 and 1 half yards. So um, hopefully we get to the point where we understand we're taking 30 one half minus three and five six. So we understand we'll have to subtract these mixed numbers and the nice thing is identifying the least common denominator is nice and easy here it's just six. And so we need to multiply the top and bottom of one half by three. So we end up with thirty and three six minus 3 and 5 6 and we have that issue again <clears throat> that we've seen a few times now uh, where the first fraction part is smaller than the second and yet the overall first number is bigger than the second so we know we should just be subtracting regularly so uh, what we need to do is borrow 1 from the whole part which gives me 29 Right? And that 1 that I borrowed from the 29 is equal to 6, 6. So I add 6, 6 to 3, 6 to give me 9, 6. And now I can subtract. So 29 minus 3 is 26. 9 minus 5 is 4. And so we've got 26 and 4, 6. But of course we know we're supposed to always give our answers in simplest form. And so since... 2 is a common factor of 4 and 6. I can divide top and bottom by 2 and we end up with the answer of 26 and 2 thirds yards of rope left.